Shara from Woodshop Diaries. If you guys have been following along, you know that we've been building our garage apartment house, starting mostly with the kitchen because that's been the focal point of the whole room, the whole space. We've also been in a six week renovation contest that we had to get done with the kitchen. So that's probably the biggest reason why we started with the kitchen. Because we were on a six week deadline, we were on a tight budget, um, because I'm kind of a die hard do it yourselfer, I decided to build our own kitchen cabinets. At first I was kind of intimidated by the project, but once I got started I realized it's really simple. If you think about it, building kitchen cabinets is basically just building a bunch of boxes with either doors or doors on it. Like, it's not that difficult. What I did to make things simple, I built all of my cabinets out of Puron plywood. I didn't have any hardwood, there was no planing, no joining, no time consuming uh, joinery techniques. I used pocket holes and screws. We built frameless cabinets. Basically, the whole box is just plywood. We've got edge banding to cover the edges and a full overlay door to also cover up the rest of the edges. What I did to save a little bit of money was I built the cabinet boxes out of three quarter inch Pure Bond Birch plywood. Um, it's a little more cost effective um, to go with the Birch plywood for the cabinet boxes, but because the doors were such a big focal point and they're full overlay, I decided to go with something a little bit more um, special. So what I did is I got Pure Bond 2x4 hickory plywood panels, 3 quarter inch thick, and I used those for the doors and for the door fronts on the base cabinets. They look awesome. I've got all the tips and tricks that you need to get this project done. I've got all the links to all the products used. Everything you need to know, all the details in the blog post. Check it out. It's on my website, woodshopdiaries.com. I'll put the link to, I'll put the direct link to the blog post tutorial to go along with this video in the description below. I'd love for you to check it out. Check out all my other videos and all my other do-it-yourself projects. But right now, we're focusing on the kitchen cabinets. It's a really fun build. Promise you it's quick. Promise you it's easy. Let's get going. I'll show you exactly how. The first thing that you need to do is cut down your plywood into two strips about 22 and 3 quarter to 22 and 7 eighths inches wide. Um, once you've got your two strips cut, set aside the thin piece, we'll use that later, and then cut the two strips into two side panel pieces and one bottom piece each. That way you can get two full cabinets out of one full sheet of plywood. I cut my side panel pieces about 36 inches long, which made the cabinets uh, about 36 inches tall. That didn't really work out so well when I installed my appliances. My appliances were too short, so I recommend cutting your side panel pieces about 34 and a half to 35 inches tall, and then your bottom piece, like as you see here, um, should be cut about 22 and 3 quarter inches wide. Next, you'll want to cut your toe kicks. Um, I don't know if there's a standard to this, but what I did was measured up from the bottom of each side panel piece, three and a half inches, and then um, off from the front about four and a quarter inches and I drew these lines using a square and made an X on the spot that I need to cut out for my toe kicks. I cut these out using my jigsaw. Um, it's just a real quick cut. Just try to cut straight along the lines. And then um, remember the, that thin strip left over from your plywood earlier? You'll need to cut three pieces 22 and 3 quarter inches long. These will go on the top and the back of your cabinet um, that will be used to install your countertop and screw your cabinets to the wall later. So um, I had several strips, I was making several cabinets, so I had several strips. I just cut three at a time like this, um, but you can cut obviously individual pieces as well. Once you've got all your pieces cut, um, you'll need to apply edge banding if you're doing frameless. If you're doing frame cabinets, you will install a frame, but I did frameless cabinets, so I did glue on edge banding on the front side of my side panels and the front side of my bottom piece, and also one of the thin strips that I cut from the last step, because all of these pieces would be facing the front, and so you want to cover up those edges. This glue on edge banding was real quick. I highly recommend using it. I assembled my cabinets using um, pocket holes and screws, so what I did was I drilled two pocket holes into the ends of all three of the thin strips that I cut, and then I had on two opposite sides of the bottom panel, like shown. Um, 
this is how you attach them. I know it's a real quick video, but you get the idea. You basically just screw in the bottom panel between the two side panels and make sure that it's lined up right above that line that we drew for the toe kicks. That line that was about three and a half inches from the bottom of the panel. Um, make sure it's square and level, obviously, before you screw it in. And then attach the three thin pieces, two on the top like shown, and then one kind of going across the top of the back. That will be used to install the cabinet to the wall, and then the two on the top that are kind of facing up, those will be used to attach the countertop later. Oh, and don't forget to make sure that your toe kicks, the cutouts that we cut, are facing the front and not the back. I accidentally assembled one backwards, but anyway. Now it's time to attach the back. I just cut my backs. Make sure they're nice and square when you cut them. I cut mine from a uh, quarter inch pure bond plywood and just simply nailed in place. Make sure that your cabinet is square to your back. Now that you have your cabinet carcass, it's time to add the door. I use full overlay doors, so I cut my doors just about a quarter of an inch smaller width and height, um, so both directions than my overall cabinet size. That gave me about an eighth of an inch to play with on the top, bottom, and both sides to give me a good full overlay look. Um, I cut these doors out of pre-cut Pure Bond 2x4 hickory plywood panels. Because I was making two foot with slightly over two foot wide cabinets, it worked out perfect because I only had to cut the two by four pre-cut panels in one direction. Once I had my doors cut, I applied edge banding around all four sides and attached using concealed hinges. Um, to see more about the concealed hinges, check out my video on how to install cabinet doors using um, soft close concealed hinges. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check it out. You can install your cabinet doors before or after you actually install your cabinet boxes. I installed my base cabinet doors before I installed the boxes, but I installed the doors after the fact on my pantry and my upper cabinets. Sometimes it's easier to do it before, sometimes it's easier to do it after. It doesn't really matter just as long as you get your door attached. Once your cabinets are installed, you uh, will need to add toe kicks. We cut those out, the little notches for them earlier, but the actual toe kicks, I just cut three inch strips of three quarter inch pure bond plywood and cut them the length of a strip of cabinets and nailed in place just like shown. And that's how you build a frameless full overlay door modern style base cabinets. For your upper cabinets, it's basically the same concept. The only difference is you won't have a toe kick. And on mine, I installed the top piece of my cabinet box about three and a half inches from the top of the side panel. That was so that when I added trim later, I had something to nail to. You can see this better in the um, pictures in the video of the finished kitchen. But basically, you just install a top and a bottom panel between two side panels just to create a cabinet box using three quarter inch pocket holes and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. You'll need to install two thin strips, one at the top and one at the bottom of the upper cabinets, um, just like shown here. These are so that you have something to attach to the wall when you hang the cabinets. Just like with the base cabinets, once you've got your um, cabinet box built, you just nail on a quarter inch backing and you're ready to hang them on the wall. As a final step, I drilled shelf pin holes in all of my cabinet boxes so that I could add adjustable shelves. And this is probably something that could have and should have been done before the cabinet boxes were installed, but it's always possible to do it after the fact as well. Um, this just allows you to have some adjustable shelves for extra storage in all of your cabinet boxes. And that's how you build your own frameless, full overlay, pure plywood kitchen cabinets. I hope you check out all my other videos. I hope you enjoyed this.